everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today i'm going to show you how to make this kids play kitchen area thing and this is not functional unless you want your child to be able to play in when you click on the cabinets so i show you how you can do that in that also and i also show you how to make this not usable for adult sims otherwise they will try use certain items so you can do this in any order, just depending on what you want to put down first and where you're placing it. But I'm going to go in with my kitchen counters first. So you want to go ahead and select which kitchen counters you want to use. I'm going to use the country kitchen counters because I got them recently. This is the first thing you need to do because if you get the counter, this is just the normal kitchen counter. If you size it down, you see it's it's not sizing it down i'm clicking and it's not sizing it down at all so what you need to do is use this instead the kitchen island counters which have the little lip on the front and these can be sized down you can do this either way because you can use this side if you want and you can use the pieces on the corner as well so for this one i'm going to go ahead and use the corner piece and that and what you're going to do is size these down twice i will have the buttons and stuff on the screen but i'll briefly just go over them so if you are on PC, it is the left square bracket key. You just click it and it should size it down. If that doesn't work, try shift square bracket key or control or alt. I've heard people say it's different ones. It just depends on your keyboard. So just give that a go. And if you are on a console, you go ahead and hold both the trigger buttons at the back and you press left on the D-pad. If you don't know what the D-pad is, it's those arrow keys. So you just press the left one. And also make sure you have bb.move objects turned on if you're on pc Control shift c and then you can type in bb.move objects on press enter and then Control shift c will close the cheat bar again if you are on console hold all four back buttons so the trigger buttons and the shoulder buttons and the cheat bar will pop up and again just type in bb.move objects on and then again just press the buttons again to get rid of the bar once you've entered it so there's also free placement on a pc you hold alt and you'll get this nice placement here instead of it being locked to the grid i'll put the buttons on screen and i will have a little controller which demonstrates it as well for you one in the corner because i'm wanting this one up against a wall so you can make this any shape you want you don't have to do the same shape i'm doing so i'm going to do this one with the little cabinet facing forward here and i'm going to show you a few different pieces so this is going to be quite large compared to a normal kids um play set so do better than mine so i'm actually gonna line it up like that so there's no gap maybe push that back a little bit and just line it up as best as we can you can always go back and change this corner on and you can place it slightly into the wall it won't stick out the other end because it's only a tiny little bit i'm gonna place another one just next to here and this one i'm going to have as my oven and the reason i am using this for the oven and i'm going to put an oven in it because i don't want it actually to be usable like i don't want sims to go over to it and try and use it so because i'm going to intersect it with the counter sims won't be able to use it so that's why i am doing it like this so i'm going to use the growing together one because it's a lovely pink one size that down also again just size it down twice and i feel like this makes it look a little bit less like a real oven because you can't see in it and it changes the top of the hob also so another thing you can add is a sink but you're going to go ahead and need to add a freestanding sink if you don't know what a freestanding sink is it's a sink like this and not like this which needs to be placed in the counter and this is why it will just float and even if you size it down it's still just gonna float in the air i'm gonna use the matching sink since um there is a freestanding sink for country kitchen again just sizing it down twice i'm gonna go ahead and put it on this side yeah i think that's looking okay now so you can always just slightly adjust things and then for a fridge again your sims will try and use this so what you can do is put something inside of the fridge to stop your sims using it if that makes sense 
So I'm also gonna go for that one. I'm gonna use this one because it matches the color of the oven. And again, just sizing it down twice. And line, I'm gonna line this up to the wall. And what I'm gonna do is actually push these back. Like I said, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is just grab a same island counter, size this down really small and put it inside of here. All this is doing is stopping Sims being able to access the fridge. So your older Sims aren't gonna go over and use the fridge. If you want them to be able to use the fridge, that's fine. The interaction is sort of weird because they're acting like the fridge is still big. So do bear that in mind. So once you've got your kitchen cabinet, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a microwave again. I'm gonna go pink and place it on top. And then I'm gonna grab the counter and size it down to as small as it can go. And I'm gonna size down the microwave. I'm just gonna do this once. You can do it twice if you'd like. I'm gonna move this counter for now. And I don't know if you see there, watch when I place microwave goes smaller when I click it goes back bigger so it's a little bit of a guessing thing with this so place it down you can see if that is in the right place I've sort of almost got it in the right place I want to move it across slightly like so maybe what I'm gonna do is grab this and size this down twice again to match and just place this to see if it's sort the microwaves in the right place I think that works quite well. Your child seemed to be able to play inside the cupboard and all this means is your your like toddler will go in and pretend to get stuff out of the cupboards. You have to make sure there's a cabinet, that, cabinet that's not intersecting anything. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go into live mode and see if she can access this one. Uh, apparently she is very angry. Put apart here. And let's see if she'll play in this cupboard. But, oh, she's gonna go around the back. Right, that's an issue. So you need to place a island counter this way and not this way for your sim to be able to access the cupboard. So I'm gonna size that down. And just place that so it lines up here. She will play. Nope, oh, not in that one. See, and she is playing in the cupboard. So you just press play in. Let's just say, for example, we have some salt shakers that are to play. You can see it wants to place them up above on this part of the counter because technically that's where it is. So what we're gonna do to fix that is move it out the way and raise this up, which if you are on PC, um, it is either nine, shift 9 control 9 or alt 9 if you are on console hold both your shoulder buttons and up on that d-pad and you'll be able to raise things up so you just need to get it sort of to the right height place it down where you think you might want it and then place your counter back and that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye